And following on with that, because they're predictable, the first and third weeks of October will also have these uh, high tides as well as the first week of November. Of course, the thing we have to be very careful about here in South Florida is any type of tropical threat during a high tide cycle, which would cause uh, quite a bit of flooding. But nothing out there in the tropics tonight. In fact, nothing showing up on the radar tonight, looking very, very quiet and nice across South Florida. We did see big thunderstorms today to help break the heat, and we saw lots of heat today. Normal high now is in the upper 80s. The normal high is the average of uh, about the last 30 years or so of high temperatures and it's coming down now. We're getting out of the peak of summer when it's the normal high is 91. So every little degree is a good degree down. But look at that, low to mid 90s today. In fact, Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, to, uh, almost made it to the record. 95 is the record. 94 was the high. Uh, tomorrow temperatures are going to be almost as warm. And then on Saturday and Sunday, temperatures are going to come down closer to normals for this time of year. Current temperatures in the 70s in Broward, 70s and 80s in Miami Dade. The big thunderstorms this afternoon in Broward helped kind of rain cool things a little bit. One more day of heat and afternoon storms, and then the pattern changes. So tomorrow, uh, similar to today. And then as we get into Saturday, the moisture moves away. In terms of that afternoon storminess moisture with that southwest wind flow, we get more of an ocean breeze. That's going to bring in tropical showers. The timing on that just about any time of the night or mainly morning hours, then some afternoon showers going on over the west coast. The main thing is, is that with more of an ocean breeze, that heat that has been plaguing us on the east coast will be pushed over to the west coast and we will be not quite as hot. We were talking uh, a day ago about Mindy. Mindy is no more post-tropical Mindy. The final advisory written on Mindy, just a, a low pressure area drifting off to the northeast now and dissipating. You can kind of see Mindy right there, a little swirl uh, in the clouds there, but we are looking pretty good here. There is Larry just to the east of where Mindy is dissipating, moving to the north now, moving away from Bermuda and hurricane warnings in effect for parts of southeast sections of the Canadian Maritime. There we're also watching two other little systems, uh, tropical developments possible in the far southwest Gulf and also in the far eastern Atlantic, neither a threat to us. Our forecast for tonight looking pretty good, mostly quiet summer. Nice, a low temperature in the mid 70s for tomorrow. Look for hot summer sun once again. Spotty afternoon storms, a high temperature in the low to mid 90s. Feels like temperatures above 100 on the water. Light winds, seas running one to two feet, smooth to a light chop on the base. Through the weekend, temperatures fall back to closer to normal, a little more breeze and some passing showers from time to time. Back to you.